everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Now, I want to go to Activist Post, who says, Bilderberg's on steroids. Meet the secret CIA-funded group behind the war on terror. There was just recently uh, an article in the mainstream media that highlighted the secret CIA war in Afghanistan and how uh, there are many as many people that have died in the CIA... Uh, that fought or is fighting in Afghanistan as there were that died in, in Vietnam. So it's a very interesting um, statistic that they pointed out. But this article gets into so much more. It says, Bilderberg has gained a reputation as the world's most secretive group of billionaires and political leaders who conspire to impact global events, but reports indicate that they don't hold a candle to another group that includes a host of war criminals responsible for the war on terror. The group's name is Les Sarkel. In a report dated September 13, 1982, the German publication Der Spiegel describes it as a legal cartel made up of uh, loyal um, German agents, basically. Foreign intelligence agents. Um, reactionary politicians and ultra-right journalists. So it's not just Germans, it's all sorts of foreign intelligence agents. And by the way, it's not just the United States. Now, the existence of the group was revealed by the Bavarian constitutional protector, Hans Langemann. According to this report, he described the group as, quote, in the case of Serkel, which is clearly defamatory, as far as my earlier knowledge of the BND and my knowledge and my present knowledge are concerned, a loose concentration about two times a year and at various places of conservative anti-communist politician, publicists, bankers, and VIPs of other professions, which originated in the former French Prime Minister Antoine Pinay, and the circle to which guests are invited continues to this day. Now, former U.S. Defense Secretary and President of the World Bank, Paul Wolfowitz, former Iraqi Coalition Provisional Authority Leader Paul Bremer, and former Secretary of State Donald Rumsfeld and former Chairman of the Defense Department's Defense Policy Board, Richard Pearl, are some of the most no- notable neocons of the Iraq War. And guess what? They're all reportedly members. Other uh, members that are American in the circle include U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, former Director of Central Intelligence Bill Casey and William Colby, and former President Richard Nixon after he left the White House. Now, a report in The Independent dated June 28, 1997, says the exclusive think tank said to be funded by the CIA is mentioned because its chair at the time, former member of Parliament Jonathan Aitken, was reportedly going to be removed over a liable trial that ultimately sent him to prison for perjury. Isn't that interesting? Now, some of the things that they're known for, Le Circle's known for, is undercover financial transactions for political aims, international campaigns aimed to discredit hostile personalities or events, creation of a private intelligence service specializing in a selective point of view, and establishment of offices under suitable cover, each run by a coordinator from the central office. Sounds very clandestine. Current plans cover... London, Washington, Paris, Munich, and Madrid. Remember, folks, this was 1982. How far are we today? Take a look at what's going on, right? And what the purpose of Le Circle is and the Bilderberg Group and the Trilateral Commission and the Club of Rome and the Council on Foreign Relations. I could go on and on and on. And really, what it boils down to is... People who have power want to stay in power. They want more power. You see, power and money are two things that never satisfy. You know? Money. People who love money are never satisfied with money. People with power are never satisfied with more power. They always want more because it never satisfies. You know, you ever buy that new car and you were so happy when you drove it home from the lot and you know you're driving around for a couple of weeks and everything's good 
until that first payment comes around. And then the second payment. And then the third. And then you realize, man, I got 57 payments to go. And all of a sudden, it's not that cool anymore that I bought this expensive car to drive back and forth to work. And basically, that's about it. I really don't get to use it too much. I'm so busy paying off the car, I can't use it. These kind of things, material things, never satisfy. But boy, people sure do. Well, they will go to no ends to get that next fix. And that's all these people are doing. They're junkies. They're junkies on power and money. And they're using us as pawns on a chessboard. And folks, we just don't need to put up with it anymore. I mean, it's really that simple. So, Les Arkell, you know, the Bilderberg of Germany. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.